Hello everyone, and welcome back to this Civ 5 Community Balance Patch tutorial slash playthrough slash whatever this is becoming. If I can remember correctly where I was, I was building up an army from last time with the end, or with the, uh, the end goal of probably attacking Carthage. Getting a lot of Chuko news, because those tend to be my favorite units. I mean, ranged like bowmen, okay. Uh, not right now. I'm gonna ask you later. Um, just, like, the ranged units tend to be my favorite units generally. They're just so good for defense and offense. I just got an achievement? What the hell? What did I just get? Discover 100 natural wonders. Okay. That's, uh, convenience, I suppose. Where was this? Over there. In the Incan territory or whatever that is. Okay. New policy. Continue with authority. This will get us the free settler, which actually, where are we gonna? Oh, we're gonna. Oh, no. Oh, shit. See, I actually already put cities in all the places where. I totally forgot about that. I guess I could put a city up there. That would actually not. It would not be too bad to put a city up there. I might actually do that. See, 50 Golden Age points and 50 culture when you conquer. Found or conquer near cities. Scaling with era, conquest, bonus also scales with population. Okay. So, we will probably aim to found a city up there. It's kind of nice to have Colombo and Mombasa wall Assyria off. I mean, it would be even nicer if we were allies with him, but alas, we are not. Espionage update for Beijing. So that's another part of this, the mod, a kind of small part. They give you updates to uh, how easily people could uh, spy on you and steal a bunch of your stuff. And in this game, spying isn't just technologies, as I think you've, as I think we uh, we saw last video. People can steal money or technology or culture or anything else from you, which kind of sucks. Printing press or chemistry? I'm actually gonna go chemistry. Leaning Tower of Pisa would be nice. I don't know what makes it nuke immune, but whatever. Guangzhou, let's go ahead and I think a university would be nice. I'm gonna make a university. We need to uh, get as far ahead technolo technologically as we can. Put this guy down here. Settlers spawned over there, so I'm gonna just send him over there. I don't think we're having any barbarian problems in this area. There actually is a ruins down here, which somehow no one has gotten. So I'll send one of my guys down there. I wanna see what's going on. Wait, let's see. Improve this marble. Yeah, marble will actually be great to uh, make us less unhappy, it should. We know a lot about Cusco. I'm not sure. Do we have an embassy with him? I guess we do. He tends to be pretty peaceful as things go. I don't care about that. Influence shift. Roman culture is not exotic to us. That is unfortunate, but nothing we can do about that for now. We'll always destroy them later. You go denounce the Ottomans. I gotta, I gotta see what the uh, relations are like between these people. I'm actually gonna talk to Assyria. Oh, well, he's friendly, is he? That's nice. I'm losing. Well, I'm losing that much money. Holy crap! That's not good. Declare war on Dido. We decline. Okay. I don't know why. It's kind of annoying. But whatever. Putting this on the hills would again be great for the defensive bonus, and it also allows us to get the wheat, whereas if we put it here, there would be no wheat. I actually didn't realize there was perfume right there, so this is this is an absolutely great place for a city. I could and I could update him, or upgrade him. I actually forgot about that. So settlers settlers upgrade, just like anything else. The, set, the next unit is a colonist. I don't remember what the difference is. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna, I, just to explore, because this is partially a tutorial, I'm gonna move him into Nanjing and upgrade him. And I'm going to see what happens. Also, I got 135 gold. That's fine. It's nice to get that when we're losing so much gold. What am I building? I'm building a walls in Nanjing, which is now less necessary since we're going to be having... I'm actually going to change that since we're going to have another city here. Nanjing itself will not need to be walled off. So let's X that out. Council will be good just to get more science. And it builds so quickly. My military situation is actually coming along pretty nicely here. 
I lack the necessary funds to upgrade this unit. 775 gold? Holy crap. Can I get some gold from somewhere? That gives us gold. Okay. It also gets us a lot more culture. And more science. What is it what does it do that's bad? What the hell? That's absurd. It just gets us a lot less food, but otherwise that's fantastic. Wow, alright. I'm staying with uh, gold focus there. Um, just chill out for now. I actually, I'm gonna make it, actually, after I finish these things in Beijing, I'm gonna make another trade route to uh, speed up our gold production a little bit. Because I'm in, I actually have, I've never made a colonist before, I don't think. I just tend to not to, to do too much settling, kind of in the mid to late game. I do more uh, conquering. Okay, so here, so we have, uh, is this our first World Congress? I think it is. So here's the World Congress. They've actually added a whole crap ton of new, uh, new general accords and propositions and stuff you can make. Uh, I think, yeah, the top two here are new. Global Peace Accords, Unit Maintenance Costs are raised by 25% gold. Warmonger penalties for capturing cities and declaring war are greatly increased, and warmonger scores decay much more slowly than normal. Because that's just a constant state. It stays that way until it's voted out again. And then there's open door policies for city-states. If successful, all civilizations will immediately have their influence set at 40 with the city-state, and no one can become the city-state's ally. So that's the most... That's For me, that's the most important part of that. Um, because I tend to go with city-states, and they often vote to have the city-states that I'm allies with as open doors. So then that just removes my alliance, which is totally annoying. I'm going to go ahead and say no for the Global Peace Accords. That'll piss uh, Dido, or whatever her name is. Is that? Yeah, Dido. Off. But that's fine, since she's my enemy anyway. I really hope that doesn't pass. So that would be rather annoying. Although not entirely crippling. I think I saw that it passed, which is unfortunate. Damn it, who voted for that? Ten yay for America? America, what the hell? Shit. Well, that puts us in a terrible money situation. But I can make a bank, which is actually great. I'm gonna make a cargo ship first, and just to, so we're not losing a huge amount of money, then I'm gonna make a bank. Actually, am I gonna have a place to send this cargo ship? I don't remember. I could put him in Nanjing and send it to Mombasa, which would be good. We'll see. Hopefully this works out. I'd absolutely love to get out of here. Not be losing 13 gold per turn. Good engineer, that's wonderful. Anyone? Oh, I could rush the Leaning Tower of Pisa if it's not already been built. Let's see. Holy crap, Pachacuti, how do you have so many wonders? Oh my god. That is absurd. Who is this guy? And how is he so good? Beijing loves the Empress, that's good. I am going to leave this guy here until we get to the Ling Tower of Pisa. I just want to, because great engineers actually reduce the time a lot less than they used to for production, so I want to see how much it will get us down. The Tower of Pisa pretty much does the same thing as it did in the vanilla game. Longjo has grown. Now we're losing even more money. Jesus. I'm gonna put Guangzhou on. Money focus, that doesn't do anything. Okay. Let's put this guy in perfume. Actually, do I have a harbor here? I need to make a harbor to connect these two guys. Or connect Najing with my capital, I should say. I'm not particularly surprised that she's plotting against me. I haven't seen many military units on her part. Oh, here. So this will help a lot. I'll send this to Hippo Regius for now. If I could rush the bank, that'd be excellent. Now. Yeah, it's not really going to do much for us. Whatever. We're kind of stabilized with money. Making a market here will be great. That should help us out, and then I'll make a harbor after that. Actually, I'll just queue up the harbor. But who is America? 
How does he have so many delegates? Four from World Wonders, two from Consulate Policy, which is a statecraft policy. Yeah, here we go. Additional delegate in the World Congress for every eight city-states in the game. Kind of absurd. Three from city-state embassies. Oh, so he's made a lot of embassies. So he's really been going full statecraft, which is pretty strong. Yeah, I hope authority ends up helping me. This might have, in the end, been the wrong choice. Maybe I should go industry to help me out with the money situation. That actually could be... Pretty, like, a, not a terrible choice. Or at least go industry as my third thing. Choose host. Well, it doesn't matter who I vote for. I'm just gonna, you know what, I'm just gonna vote for Carthage just to make her a little happy. Just so we're not getting too aggressive with each other. Um, for now, I guess I could just send this guy to whoever makes me the most money, which is here. I have a couple of uh, national wonders I can make as well. This is this is gonna be a this is gonna be a hard like I set myself up with a pretty hard deficit to recover from in terms of uh, my general state in the game. What can I steal? Printing press is the only thing. I do need to make some villages actually. That is actually a really good idea. I'll probably make some down in Guangzhou. Or I can make some up here as well. My wide, my worker is just chilling out doing nothing, so I'll have to change that. These villages get you a lot of money. And ideally, of course, we'd even get a town. But we're not anywhere near to uh, getting a great merchant. Borders of Nanjing have grown. Successful robbery in Carthage. Oh, nice. We just stole 414 gold. That's incredible. All right. I'm going to upgrade this guy. We'll see what he does. Pioneer. Oh, wait, Pioneer's the next? It doesn't make sense. Why would Pioneer come before Colonist? Whatever. Make another... Put him back on the... on... Kori Huayrachina. For now. Hopefully between the bank and the market we'll get fixed up with some actual money production. Is the following trade of interest? Uh, sure. Washington tends to be aggressive, but he's also not too close to me. Alright, so there's the Lean Tower of Pisa. So I'm just going to put my great engineer down on my land. It'd be nice to not have him right there, next to, like, on my front lines, but I don't have a huge amount of choice. I'm going to move this guy back here now. Oh, look. Look how much farther he moved. Okay. That's great. Can I do something that will help me with money? Getting another trade route would be fantastic. Getting a musket man would also be fantastic for war. I'm gonna do econ, and then I'm gonna shift click metallurgy so we go there next. So that is exactly what we need. And let's just make a farm. Actually, village could be good. What's Nanjing's food like? Oh, there's a cows right here. I'm actually going to improve the cows, and then I'll make a village right there. Everything's coming along decently well. New Schwanstein. It's already 1780. If I want to do some military stuff, I kind of got to start doing that soon. There also is, of course, the whole um, mechanic of vassalization which I have not really engaged too much with, generally. Which doesn't particularly interest me. Okay. I'm gonna found a city. Starts out with three citizens. Shen, I think is how you pronounce that. Shan, Shen. And let's just start him off with what? With... He, so he, they start out with all the most basic things. You can see barracks, council, granary, market, monument, shrine, well. Which is fantastic. I'm trying to think what I want to put in him next. 
so to speak. I'm gonna have actual walls, definitely. 110%. Because now he's on the he's really a, on the frontier here. Is the following trade of interest? How about you give me a little more for that? Yeah. There we go. Of course not. Of course not. That was a good uh bartering session. Market's gonna be finished there. Now we're making money. I'm also losing I have a lot of unhappiness. Which is rather unfortunate. I think a harbor is gonna be necessary here. Yeah. And I gotta make a harbor in Beijing after that. I don't remember if I queued it up. And right after I make a harbor, I'm definitely gonna focus. Actually, what is this? Yeah, I think right after. Or do I already have a harbor here? That would be convenient. Yeah, I do already have a harbor here. Alright. So I'm gonna make the School of Philosophy to speed up science. And then right after that, I'm gonna focus on military. Pretty much whole hog. Do I have any fish in this? I do have one fish. So let's get a fishing boat out there. Work boat. Yeah, that's where there's a lot of ocean around here, but there's not a lot of fish. Which is just generally kind of frustrating. Like, I feel like, since water tiles are generally so useless, I feel like fish should be more popular. Or more, uh, there should be more of them. Great diplomat and a great writer. Oh, that's actually incredible. Definitely great, uh, great work. To the end. I'm gonna send my great diplomat to Almaty. Yeah. What do they want me to do? Discovers most technologies, explores unrevealed area of the world, conquers Katmandu, and make a great general. None of which I'm going to do. But screw it anyway. It'll be good to have them for a little bit. Zanzibar is a new ally. I don't care about that. So how about... Oh, Golden Age. Wonderful. That's good. It's, uh, it's always funny to me that you can have a golden age while you're unhappy in this game. Like, this just doesn't particularly make sense, but whatever. How many technologies ahead of me is Carthage? She's 36 and I'm 36. Okay, that's not that bad. Put you over there. Make a boat. Get out of here. Um, da da da. What is a forge? Forge is plus 10% of the city's production output is added to city science every turn. I don't particularly need that. I'm gonna make a walls just to be safe. Now that I'm actually not doing terribly with money, I think I'm gonna go straight for metallurgy. If the money situation goes awry again, we can put it back to econ. But for now, things seem to be pretty good. 666 six, six money. Of course I just lost 9 or eight per turn, uh, completely unexplainedly. Let's pump out a couple more Chuko news in that city. Oh shit, wait, I actually need some siege units. I totally forgot about that. I don't have any siege units. And where are they? Beijing, I can make a cannon because I need iron to make a cannon? Are you serious? I don't, I don't have any iron. I'm selling it. Shit. Uh, well that sucks. Can I actually buy some iron from someone? Here we go. Can I get three iron from you? That's unacceptable? Are you serious? Who are you? Alright, not getting iron from him. You only have paper. Just here, how about this? Alright. You're not gonna give me anything for that? Alright, these people are eminently unreasonable. Alright, is no one is no one gonna give me that? Are you serious? Dumb. Egypt, come on man. Oh my god, this is a travesty. 
All right. Well, is there anywhere I can get iron from? Kuala Lumpur. Oh, Kuala Lumpur. All right. <laughs> Sorry, Almaty. We're not going to be friends today. You got to go over here. I got to get max iron. Not do that. Okay. I don't know why that just increased my happiness, but... I mean, unhappiness, but all right. Now let's pump out a number of cannons. Um, that's... let's leave it on gold for now. I could buy a cannon. I'm just gonna keep making them for now. You actually go up and improve stuff up here. Nanjing is decently well improved by now. Four tiles is fine. Oh, I've never told my worker to do anything. God damn it. I always forget about stuff like that.